Welcome back to the world today and now to one of the biggest stories uh, from here in Nigeria, but happening in the UK. Former Deputy Senate President Ike Kweramadu, alongside his wife, have both been remanded in custody in the United Kingdom, charged with conspiracy to arrange or facilitate travel of another person with a view to exploitation, namely organ harvesting. Organ harvesting involves removing parts of the body, often for cash, and against the victim's will. According to the Metropolitan Police, an investigation was launched after detectives were alerted to potential offences under modern slavery legislation in May 2022. Our London correspondent, Juliana Alayenka, has more. Well, pretty disturbing news coming out of the UK this morning, and that is that a Nigerian man and woman have both been detained and charged by the Metropolitan Police's Specialist Crime Unit uh, for conspiring to arrange the travel of a child into the UK in order to harvest organs. One is a Beatrice Ekwerimadu, and the second individual is Ike Ekwerimadu. And I believe it's that second name, isn't it, that's causing shockwaves, I would say, not just in Nigeria, Nigeria, but across the international community, because if it is indeed, as some uh, media outlets are speculating, the former deputy Senate president, then this individual was once one of the most powerful uh, politicians in Nigeria. Now, I believe uh, the People's Democratic Party, with which he served under, have been approached for a comment. They have refused to comment thus far. But I do believe that this story is likely to pick up over the next couple of days. Uh, one of the reasons why is because it is a big story here in the UK at the moment. The Home Secretary Priti Patel alongside Prime Minister Boris Johnson are grappling uh, with the migrant crisis and the European Union say that one of uh, the, the real issues is organ harvesting and a lot of these human traffickers if they're not able to get uh, these asylum seekers to pay uh, for their illegal travel then they are using uh, their bodies uh, to harvest their organs so it is a very serious issue it is an ongoing criminal investigation uh, so the metropolitan police say they are not going to provide uh, further details just yet but as always we are on the ground as soon as we have any further information we will be giving it to you juliana olayinka reporting for Channels TV News outside of Scotland Yard in London. Thanks, Juliana. And neither the lawmaker nor his aide have commented on the development, but a source familiar with the issue has told Channel Television on condition of anonymity that Senator Ike Guerramado's child has been suffering from a kidney disease and needed a transplant. The source says a donor was gotten and sent to the UK for investigation with the aim of providing a kidney. However, the investigation showed the kidney did not match that of Senator Guerramado's child. Subsequently, the donor was scheduled to return to Nigeria. According to the source, the donor refused to return to Nigeria and instead reported to the UK police to seek asylum.